Hello again and welcome back to the channel. As always, it is fantastic having you here today. Quick reminder that I run giveaways that are exclusive to my subscribers. So if you've not subscribed to the channel yet, please consider doing so. Uh, baseball card group break coming your way in a couple of minutes. It's going to feature some heritage, uh, some last year stuff, 2014, 2015. Uh, all kinds of good show. <laughs> RJ is ready for the clown show. Uh, we do have five minutes, uh, but I said I was going to start the actual break in five minutes. Let me go through the rundown, and then I'll do the chase card drawing. So Ronald J has the Phillies, the Dodgers, and the Red Sox. Kansas Mike has the Mets. John S has the Pirates and the Yankees. Adam's card closet has the Braves. Oki K has the Angels, the Padres, the Mariners, the Tigers, the Rangers, and the Cardinals. Nathan R has the White Sox. And then finally, something old and something new. Card Rips has the Twins, the Rockies, and the A's. Adam's Card Closet has a channel. Uh, something old and something new has a channel as well. Go and subscribe. RJ has a channel, but he does not want people to subscribe to it. Um, <clears throat> The, uh, there's a number of teams that went unclaimed. They are as follows. The Blue Jays, the Orioles, the Astros, the Cubs, the Rays, the Reds, the Nationals, uh, Diamondbacks, Brewers, Royals, Marlins, and Indians. I only bring up those teams uh, just for reference. Those will default back to me. Uh, JVK, thank you so much for joining. Uh, RJ, of course, thank you for joining. Hi, man. Thank you for joining. Uh, also, I'm going to go through the, uh, the quick little rules uh, again, which is, for example, Heritage has some interesting cards. So, for example, uh, if there's a top and a bottom, the team on the top will get it. If there's a team on the left and the right, the team on the far left will get it. And if there, I don't know if there's any four-team cards this year, but if there are any four-team cards, team in the top left will get it. So it makes it super easy, top left, top, or far left. Um, so then there's like no disputing. Um, don't talk to robots. Oh, you know what? No one bought your Cubs, buddy. This is the time where I pull some really cool Cubs cards. Anyway, we do. We are doing the chase card drawing. The uh, chase drawing is for these three cards. One winner will receive all three of these cards. Uh, let me do that right now before I start busting open the old packs. So let's get to it. Let me pull up uh, my tablet. I have the randomizer set to go. So, here we go. Um, Ronald J, Ronald J, Ronald J, Kansas Mike, John S, John S, and John S. Hold on, let me check this for a second. I thought, did I have him out? The, oh, did I miss a spot? Let me, this is why I'm checking things. Uh, let's see. Oh, John S also had the Yankees. So John S has the Pirates, the Giants, and the Yankees. So let me write that down. Um, Giants. And, uh, yeah, this is my classic. Uh, there we go. So that, that makes more sense now. I'm not just stupid. Anyway, uh, so here we go. Back to it. So Ronald J, Ronald J, Ronald J has three spots. Uh, Kansas Mike has one spot. John S has three spots. Adam's Card Closet has one spot. Oki has one, two, three, four, five, six. Let me make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Oki has six spots. And then Lance W from Something Old and Something New Card Rips have three spots. So what's going to happen is I'm going to hit this randomize button five times. At the end of the fifth time, the name in the top slot and the number one slot will receive those chase cards. So good luck to everyone. Randomize once. Randomize twice. Randomize three times, randomize four times, and here we go. Lucky number five. And the winner is Oki K. Oki K, you are the winner of the chase card drawing. Uh, congratulations to you. Uh, also, uh, thank you everyone for participating. Uh, next time I do a break, which will probably be at a week, like seven to ten days or so from now, um, seven to 10 days, you can expect it. 
I will do another chase card drawing. I have to pull some cards to use to chase. Uh, people seem to like that chase aspect, and uh, so I will keep it up in the future. I did manage to get some baseball product um, today, and so there will be a break at some point next week. It will include Heritage and Opening Day and uh, some Series 1, tins, a whole bunch of stuff. So this is what I will do. I have a whole bunch of packs here. Um, let me pull them all out, and then we'll start ripping them open. I do want to say thank you to everyone for joining the break. I really do appreciate your support. I am, of course, always rooting for you. Always rooting for you. Because um, it's better for the break, and it's just cooler if I pull cool cards. It's just, it's just, it's just an extra experience all the way around. So thank you so much. I do appreciate it. So here's all the packs. Um, I am going to say one pack away from greatness. And I'm opening the packs anyway. So let's pull some fire. I do want to acknowledge people in the chat. RJ is here. JBK is here. Don't Talk to Robots is here. Oki is here. Um, Don't Talk to Robots has a channel. JBK has a channel. High Man is here. I'm not sure if High Man has a channel. RJ has a channel, but he does not want me promoting it. Oki, I don't think, has a channel. Anyway, thank you for joining us. Uh, we're going to start really going back here. This is uh, 1989. Rack pack, 42 cards. Um, I do not believe that you can get the... I think Griffey was in traded. So I don't think you can get him in this. But there are some rookies, I believe. Anyway, whatever. It's just a nice flashback. If you've ever watched one of my breaks or ever entered one of my breaks, you know I like to throw in some just totally random stuff um, that you don't see. Um, I did... Was on. I was on the lookout. I thought that Bowman was coming out today, hobby-wise. Obviously not retail-wise, but hobby-wise. Uh, I did not see a listing. I haven't seen any videos for it whatsoever for regular Bowman hobby, not first edition. I haven't seen anything. So maybe it didn't come out or maybe no one's bought it. I mean, it's like 340 a box or something. So I can see why people wouldn't buy it. But uh, I was just surprised because usually there's videos. But here we go. 42 cards, 1989. Classic design for this year. I only have one of these. I will stop when there's a, a notable rookie if we do manage to pull one out of a single pack. You, you never know with a single pack. By the way, there's the backs in case you've uh, never seen it. I had, I think at one point I had the entire set, um, but this was when I was uh, not 40 years old. This was like 30 years ago I had one. Are we not going to get any rookies? There's a Rex Sadler. Uh, Cal Ripken All Star. They did print this set like crazy, and uh, the set itself, I think it's like 792 cards or something ridiculous. Ah, so we got nothing. We didn't even get a single rookie out of that. That was uh, not the best way to start. But like I said, that is one of the bonus packs. Um, next up, we're going to do also a throwback. These are 1986 Fleer sticker cards. Um, I don't know if there's rookies in this set whatsoever, but it'll be fun. Um, I managed to score these on the cheap. Like I said, one pack away from greatness. And also, like I always like to say, your early stuff is bonus content. I mean, obviously, you want to pull some cool stuff. Um, let's see. Oscar Opens Cards is here. Thank you so much for joining us. Oscar opens some really cool selections of cards. He does Fortnite. He does baseball. He does basketball. He does football. He does uh, Pokemon. You go subscribe to him as well. Where's the inserts? RJ, that is a good, that is a good question. I don't know where the inserts were. I have never seen, I don't open a lot of rack packs from 1989, but I've never seen one where we got nothing. Like, but you saw, I just opened it uh, clean. So for example, this one, there's a left, right. So uh, the Mets are going to get this card. So it'll be a Dwight Gooden card. So anyway, I always go with top or top left or just left because it just makes it easier. And I don't have to flip coins. Um, so anyway, these are honestly 1986. I was alive in 1986. This is the first time that I have ever seen these. They're technically sticker cards. Um, look at those classic glasses. Uh, Ernie Riles. They're stickers, but they're hard. They're hard in the, I, like they're on regular card stock. So you wouldn't normally know that. Uh, also, I, I have given uh, wrenches to people. So uh, people with wrenches can keep people in line and also put links to people's channels. Uh, Cause like I said, if, um, People are able to get some subscribers out of this. That would be fantastic. Um, also, like I mentioned, I did no research when I bought these packs. I just saw them at the store and I bought them. 
Um, I don't have a smartphone, which is a crazy thing that people hear, um, but I don't have a smartphone. So it makes it really difficult sometimes to make buying decisions in the spur of a moment if you're in like an antique mall or something, because you just kind of have to be like, well, it seems like it's a, seems like it's a good deal. Um, but if I had a smartphone, I'd probably look it up and be like, oh, well, there's no rookies in here. But anyway, whatever. It didn't cost me much. And it's like a nice, cool thing to throw in as a bonus. Um, but we will get to the, uh, this is the second box. Both of the bogs have had a weird uh, blue thing, a weird blue mark. Looks like they had printer issues. Also, in case you're wondering about texture, even though uh, they don't come with gum, there seems to be like wax on the uh, wax left over on the back. Anyway, let's move on. So we are going to go to, we pulled an autograph out of this last time, but we have about 10 or 15 of these preview packs. These are minor league cards. Uh, the big chase would be Albert Pujols, rookie card autograph. There is legitimately no, um, there's no autograph ads, but the inserts include just black, one in 240, just drafted, one in 240, just debuts. Um, but we did pull an autograph, even though autographs are not listed. I used to think that you had to list the odds if there was an autograph was possible, but I am incorrect. It is possible. Um, I did figure something out too. On the regular cards, it lists the uh, it lists the team name on the back, which is awesome. It makes it easier for sorting. It was just on the autograph; it didn't list the team name. So go figure. Anyway, uh, Todd Mensick, Tim Redding. Uh, by the way, my minor league teams are awesome. Um, Michigan Battle Cats, Battle Cats, Visalia Oaks. Um, I do not appreciate some of these. Uh, Kind of names like really blend into uh, really blend into the the background, which is not great. Um, so we did not get an autograph in there. Honestly, we'll find out. There is a chance we don't get one at all. They're not guaranteed. So not sure off the top of my head either how big this set is. We got something though. A just debut of Omar Ortiz with the Idaho Falls Padres. Now, Juan Pierre, I recognize the name Juan Pierre. Um, played with, I think, the Rockies for sure. A couple other teams. So Juan Pierre is the first name I notice. Obviously, we're looking for that poo hole. I think there's a couple of other notable names from the year 2000. They did make these. R.A. Dickey, I recognize the name. R.A. Dickey, Tulsa Drillers. You got some kind of a insert or parallel. You have a Winter Phoenix with the San Bernardino Stampede. Rick, Rick Ankiel, I recognize that name, Rick Ankiel, um, playing with the Peoria Chiefs. Uh, uh, with the insert cards, it doesn't tell you. I'll have to figure that out. If you guys let me know, Rick Ankiel, I believe it's St. Louis Cardinals, right? St. Louis, you guys let me know. Either the, either the Reds or the St. Louis Cardinals. I was trying to avoid having to... Uh, I was trying to avoid uh, having to look up teams and stuff like that. I believe Van Keel was, was uh, Cardinals, but obviously you guys can let me know. Scott, RJ was going, I have watched one of his videos, and he said he's trying to get a card of anyone who's ever played for the Phillies. Second Winter Phoenix card we've got, Mike Zwicka, Sean McGowan, and Brent. Oh, that's the second Brent Butler card we've gotten, too. Yeah, if you guys could let me know about the old Van Keel, about who it's going to go to. Um, that'd be awesome. I can look it up otherwise, but, uh, it'd be also nice to pull an autograph, huh? Wouldn't that be great? Pascal, Coco, a lot of names, a lot of minor league names that, uh, I've legitimately never heard of most of these people. Eric, Eric Burns. I've heard of Eric Burns before. Um, still, you know, I bought a whole pot, a whole stack of these. You know, sometimes you just buy a stack of something on, on a lark, and you're like, hey, maybe it'll be cool. It's like those fan pack things I bought last time, if you were watching last time. There we go. So, it is Cardinals. Thank you so much. Look at this, Brian Dabak talking to the old, uh, talking to the mascot, the Altoona Curve. So, even if we're not pulling crazy names here, looking at some of these team names, it's, it's pretty interesting. I think, I don't know if these got, I don't know if they got replaced by pro debut, maybe. Um, but I do not think that they make just minors anymore. 
Michael Lamb, Brent Abernathy. This is a hard to, uh, Nick Johnson, Jorge Nunez. Hard to see it though, the way that Jason, man, come on, let's heat up. Let's get, I hope that Rick Ankiel isn't going to be the best out of, out of all these packs. Um, but you never know. Like I said, the early stuff, I got a whole bunch of current stuff, 2021. So that will be coming up. David Thurno, Eric Kamek, Gary Maddox is the second one we got out of those. There's another one, Pierre. And yet, no poo holes yet, huh? It can't be that big of a set. We've gotten duplicates already. So, Todd Mincic, we got that one before. Tim Redding. Ricky Gutter Munson. Rancho Cucamonga Quakes. Jack Wilson. Jake Weber, we got that one earlier too. Man. All right, I think we got like five more packs of this. Luke Allen, Steve Madrano with the Blue Rocks, the Stampede, Eric Cole, Kiss Me Cobras, Scott Vieira, Diamond Jacks. Diamond Jacks, there's a name for you. Come on, man. Let's get something cool. I guess that autograph, uh, I guess that autograph we pulled was a complete lark. Because I've opened, what, 15 of these packs now, and there hasn't been a single. Close to an autograph. Now and then, pack polls. Thank you so much for joining us. If you haven't seen, I made a video earlier. Um, Jason Worth, there's a name. Jason Worth won uh, won a championship with the um, the Phillies, and then he went over to the Nationals and didn't win a championship with them. This is playing for the Orioles affiliate team, the Bowie Bay Sox. There's a Jason Worth. I'm used to him with a full beard, and he has no facial hair in that shot whatsoever. Uh, he proved his worth, though. He proved his worth. Anyway, uh, now and then, Pack Polls, thank you for joining us, like I said. Um, yeah, no problem. Hey, you know what? I, I uh, was more than happy to showcase your mystery pack, and the mystery has been solved. But the mystery that hasn't been solved, though, is how that that uh, Flag Guerrero got a six. Jay Gibbons, the Hagerson Tons. Honestly, we've got three more packs of this. I, un I have no idea how, uh, how that, they got a six. But that's why I don't grade cards because I would throw in, I would send in stuff for grading and it would come back with like a four or five or something. And I'd, I'd be really sad because it cost money. Uh, he made a boat. Yeah, he did. He, he did take a, he did take a, a fair amount of money to go play with the old Washington nationals. Um, you know what? He played well. It's just, you know, let's be honest. They didn't have uh, they had that playoff hiccup every single year. It seemed like in the first round where they were just getting booted. This year, their thing seems to be I'm talking about the Nationals, by the way. Uh, the Nationals thing seems to be getting blown out, just having the doors just completely blown off of the uh, off of the joint. Uh, Eric Ireland. All right, final pack, last pack, Magic. Will there be an autograph in here, or even just like a base pool? Also, would be nice for goodness sakes. Best thing we've gotten so far is a Jason Worth and a Rick Ankiel. I mean, there's like not like one pack. You're talking about like 15 packs since they've opened. Meet the Mets. Thank you for joining us. There's a Raphael for a call with the Myrtle Beach Pelicans, the affiliate of the Braves. So that bad boy is going to be going to what is Adam's card closet has that one? Let's see. Um, Jimmy Owens, Wes Anderson, Ben Ford. So we did not get we did not get a poo holes in all those packs. We did not get an autograph. All right, let's heat up. Let's heat up with some something else. So we're gonna do next, we're gonna go to 2013 chronological order. There's a blue sparkle in each one of these packs. There's a chance that there could be a Manny Machado rookie, a Hinjin Ryu rookie card, um, Dylan Bundy. There's also a possibility of there's a couple of trout cards that could be, but obviously you're looking for the old uh, blue sparkle or just a regular rookie would be nice. Um, got a Fernando Martinez, Omar Infante, Emilio Bonifacio, Jason Marquis, and we have a Houston Street, the blue sparkle cards do look super nice, even if it's just of a player that we're not, um, that's not amazing. Knowing that the blue sparkle is on the back, though, I can tell who it is, like, immediately when I open the pack. Um, but that's just me. Scudero, Lance Berkman, McDonald, and a Chris Medlin. All right, come on, let's heat up. It'd be nice to get a Manny Machado, uh... Blue Sparkle Rookie. 
not going to be in this pack because I see who it is on the back. Come on. Come on. So, a Fernando Martinez, Johan Santana, Carlos Beltran, a Josh Rutledge, and then a Justin Smoke. Look at this shine on that bad boy. All right, two more to go. Let's do it. Let's do it, guys. I, I'd say I promise things are going to heat up, but I honestly don't know. I hope they are. I hope this isn't it, man. Mike Villiers. All you need is like one good pack, though. And then all of a sudden, things can turn on. Ben Revere for the Philadelphia Phillies. And then a Tommy Hansen. All right, last pack magic on the archives previews. Ooh, there's a ding corner. There's a ding corner for the Diamondbacks. Let me see if I can smooth it out a little bit. There's a, just, just a base, Cole Schmidt. I don't know what someone did to that one before they sent it to me. There is a Jordy Mercer rookie for the Pittsburgh Pirates. Arr! The Pittsburgh Pirates. Anyway, Brett Gardner. And then a Matt Garza. Look at that throwback. Don't talk to robots. Look at that throwback uh, Chicago Cubs uniform, huh? All right. That was that was not great, I have to admit. <sighs> Next up, we have uh, Prism. It's going to be uh, 2014, four cards per pack. This is the first time I've ever opened this. I honestly, I bought them. There was, there's someone to chase in here. I do not know who it is off the top of my head, but we will know it if we pull them. We will definitely know it. Cool looking design of this year. And there is the back. So there's a Kevin McAvoy, a Troy Stokes, draft class of Bradley Zimmer, and a Michael Sideroff. I do know a Bradley Zimmer, but there's a draft class of Bradley Zimmer there. And that's your first pack out of the way. So we have a Corey Wright. A Spencer Adams. A Chase Vallant. And a Joe Gatto. So a lot of drafted players that I have not heard of particularly. Not sure. I think this set maybe three or 400 cards for all I know. So a Rusny. Cass Steele. Q's Nation, good to see you. Meet the Mets. You're both, uh, we got two fellow Mets fans um, in the chat as we speak. So Cody Medeiros and a Joey Gatto again. Man. All right, is Prism going to just uh, give us the um, the old middle finger of uh, whatever's? So you have a Mark Payton. Got to be nice to get one big, big pull out of the way. Malik Colymore, Matt Chapman. There we go. There's the first first name I can really remember. Matt Chapman draft class for the Oakland Athletics. So that will be going to something old and something new. Card rips. All right. Next up, 2015 Stadium Club. They were being stingy, I guess, in 2015 because there are only five cards in each one of these packs. Looking for Chris Bryant, Jorge Soler. Javi Baez, Jock Peterson. Uh, it says, look for on-card autographs. Wouldn't that be amazing? After I just, out of these random packs. Nightlight, thank you so much for joining us. Nightlight has a channel. The Q's Nation 315 also has a channel. Feel free to go subscribe. We have a Dalton Pompey rookie card for the Toronto Blue Jays. There it is. Chris Bryant rookie card. For the Chicago Cubs, and uh, I think that's going to me because no one bought the Cubs. Man, this is not – look at that. Chris Bryant, rookie card. I had so much trouble pulling Chris Bryant out of uh, Series 2, but there it is. Chris Bryant, rookie card. Nice. First kind of like other than Matt Chapman, got a Burley, an Ozzie Smith, and a Willie Peralta. So that was a nice first pack. Nice to get something on the table. I know it's just a base card rookie. Um, I'm going to say it again. One pack away from greatness. How about how about we do an auto this time, huh? 
Let's do an auto. It's always nice too when you take a take a chance on some older packs and they actually kind of pay off and they do something for you, huh? Well, I gotta say, don't talk to robots. You had your shot, man. I've had it. I've had it. No, um, Tony Gwen Escobar and an Alexander Guerrero. Not familiar with Mr. Alexander Guerrero. All right, last pack on the uh, Stadium Club. It sure goes in a hurry when they only give you five. We've got a spacer in here. Now, did we get a spacer for a good reason or for a bad one? Let's find out. Let us find out. I didn't even look at the odds um, of an auto. There's your one of one spacer card. We have a Brooks Robinson, an Andy Van Slyke, a Mike Mustakas. We got something. It is a Nick Swisher. Um, looks like a gold foil with the Cleveland Indians. There, in case you're curious, there is no numbering on it, but there's a gold foil Nick Swisher with the Cleveland Indians. And then a Phil Hughes. Phil makes pulls. There he is with the Minnesota Twins. I didn't realize he was with the Twins in 2015. I thought it was later in his career. Um, so this is 2020 tops of the class. So basically what you do is you bring a report card to a hobby shop and then they give you a pack. I don't know how many packs they give you. Uh, or you go online like I do because I am 40 years old and I don't go to school. Um, and you buy them that way. Uh, there are basic 2020 rookies like Bichette and stuff like that. But you're also, there's like a Trout foil card. There's a Lou Gehrig foil card that could be had, a Babe Ruth. A um, couple other foil cards. So there's a Brian Reynolds. A Brandon Lope. Steven Strasburg running the bases. There's the uh, Trout sticker that comes with every single pack because it's a promo. There's the Jordan Alvarez rookie card. So there's the first rookie. Uh, let me show you the back in case you've never seen these cards before. But there it is, a rookie card of Jordan Alvarez and then a Shane Bieber. All right, so four more packs. Hopefully we can pull a cool foil card. Let me see. Um, it says not intended for resale. There is no odds on them. No odds whatsoever. But I have pulled a foil in the past, so it can't happen. There's a Pete Alonzo. The old polar bear. Aaron Nola. Tatis. There's your uh, Trout promo card again. Engine Ryu and a Jack Flaherty. So you are not guaranteed a rookie, by the way. In every pack. Um, I think this the base set's like 100 cards. I'm not sure if a Rosarena or a Kyle Lewis is, is in it, but I'm pretty sure it's Bichette. I know that Alvarez is in it because we just pulled him. There's no Luis Robert because I believe these came out before he, uh, before, you know. Paddock. There's your Trout again. Cano, who is suspended. There's an Ozzy Alves and an Ortiz. Man, so the rookies are hard to come by in here. Go figure. In case you're wondering what that noise is, I think my neighbor's drilling something. So that is your background noise of something getting drilled. So we got a Miguel Cabrera and a Nick Senzel. Next up, you have a Javi Baez and your Trout, followed up by a Joey Votto and a Correa. Man, these uh, tops of the class packs are uh, not being very generous with us today. That's not what you want, man. We haven't gotten a single foil yet. So we have a J.D. Martinez and a Chipper Jones. I wonder if uh, Adam's card closet has that chipper yet. Uh, Jose Barrios, Chapman. Man, we only got one rookie out of the five packs. No foils whatsoever. Do you realize that the Angels had both Trout and Salmon? Just saying. I know, huh? Isn't that crazy? So here we're going big time. We only have three packs. There's four cards per pack. But there could be Vlad Guerrero, Pete Alonzo, Eloy Jimenez, and more importantly, Tatis Rookie. I think that the Tatis Chrome Rookie is worth like $60 to $80 or something. But anyway, we will take any rookies that we can get. Um, but we only have three packs because it turns out these cost me. I mean, obviously everything costs me money. But these cost me some money. Um Got a Nicky Lopez. So I'll sleeve up old Nicky Lopez for the Kansas City uh, barbecue sauce. Royals. 
Then uh, got a Ryan Helsley and a Pedro Martinez and a Darwin and Hernandez. So we got three rookies. None of the uh, big chase rookies that we want, but uh, but three rookies nonetheless. Let's see if we can do a little bit better. A little bit better with pack number two. How about one of the big ones, huh? I need to ask the universe. Come on, one pack away from greatness. I know you think, oh, why are you repeating yourself? Because you got to remind the universe. Got to remind the universe. Key boom. Key boom. For my team, the old Washington Nationals. Kind of wish that uh, we learn how to hit the ball a little bit better, though. Otherwise, I'll keep getting thrown back into the minors. But there's a Carter Key boom. There's an Edwin Diaz, Dallas Keuchel, and a Spencer Turnbull rookie. So we're getting two rookies, got three rookies in the first pack, two rookies in that pack, but none of the big ones that we were looking for. Wouldn't it be completely random if we got four rookies in this pack and it was uh, Tatis, Alonso, Eloy, and Guerrero? Just like one pack, all four of them. Here's hoping for it. I'm rooting for it. Well, that's not going to happen because we got an insert, but we have a Carlos Santana. And a there's a Mike Trout and Josh Bell and a uh, Jackie Robinson. So let me sleeve up the old Trout man. Got got blasted on that one. We got blitzed on that one. Goodness gracious! Here's a Trout All Star game though, and sleeve up that Jackie Robinson. All right, let's hope that 2021 treats us better, huh? So we have actually you know what. We do have these two update hangers. So these are the Walgreens. The uh, Walgreens update hangers. So there's going to be six yellow parallels. We are obviously looking for the Rosa Reina and the Grisham, but we will also take any of the other rookie debuts. Uh, a short print would be nice, too. I mean, why not? And then we got four blaster boxes of Heritage. So here's hoping that... There's uh, Ian Miller for the Chicago Cubs. The Chicago Cubs, who are one of the rare teams that have zero rookie cards in uh, Series 1 this year. They don't have any. And I think the Pirates don't have any in Series 1, but they're going to have a Key Brian Hayes, I believe, in uh, Series 2. Lilith Rips, thank you so much for joining us. I really do appreciate it. Um, what is that? Let me see. Well, So this is what we're going to do. Cut it to around the mid. Oh, we got something there. That's that, and leave the yellow cards for last. So three stacks. So sleeve up this old Ian Miller for the Cubs. I'm not sure if he is even sleeve worthy, but you know, I already got the sleeve out. Come on, rookies! Bring on those rookies! Got a rookie of. Uh, Kevin Ginkle, I have to say, update series last year has more obscure rookie cards of players that I have never heard of than um, than probably any other set I've ever seen. There's a Gavin Lux rookie debut for the Dadges. Lily's Rips came just in time for that. Although Ronald J has the uh, has the Dodgers in this particular break, so that is going to you, buddy. I have a Sam Haggerty for the Seattle Mariners. And uh, there's a regular Trout. I think Trout has like five cards in this set. I'm not joking. I think he has five cards. A couple All-Star game cards. Maybe like a home run derby, I think. Uh, I don't know. Some other thing. Many, many, many Trout cards. But in a way, that's good because there's a chance you can get like a parallel. Um, I'm rooting for one of the big rookies here, man. This hanger box has not been. Uh, well, I said I should be one of the big rookies, and not, nothing gets Nick Denny, but he is not. He is not on the on my radar. Throw him into a sleeve anyway, though. You never know. You never know. All right, so we do have this this left, including the six uh, six yellows. And we do have something here. It is going to be a, is that a variation? Why was it upside down? I'm not sure why it's upside down, but it was upside down. 
Uh, maybe it's a short print. That is a Giancarlo Stanton home run derby that was upside down for, I'm not quite sure. You guys might be able to look it up. Um, but that is him with the Marlins, as you can see. If anyone could let me know, is that a short print or something? Actually, let me see. So code on the back says 588. So let me look at the code on the back of this one. 588. I have no idea what that was. Um, I have no idea what that was, what that was upside down. It does not make any sense to me whatsoever because it has the same code. Sean Murphy. We do have a Sean Murphy rookie debut. I know players in Oakland don't get a lot of attention, but uh, he seems pretty good, honestly, every time I see him play. There's a Griffey. Oh, you have a rainbow foil coming up, man. If that was a Grisham, that would be awesome. Scherzer, Lyles, and it is a Garrett. I hate to sound disappointed, but a Garrett Richards rainbow foil. Sorry, Garrett, you're not the uh, not quite the rookie card you're looking for, but there is a rainbow foil. Um, we do have a Tom Seaver and a Joe Morgan. Then we got some turkey reds of Castellanos, who's having a good year so far. Uh, Gary Carter. We got a Sutsugo. Uh, got a Tyler Stevenson prospect card. Come on, yellows! You can redeem the yellows. Can redeem us right now at any time. How about in a Rosarena yellow and then a Grisham yellow to go with it? There's a Stevenson. Let's do it. Mookie Betts. Got a Bo Bichette. Bo Bichette yellow. Uh, rookie debut. And a Cody Stashek. Glaber Torres yellow. Who else did we get? Zach Davies. And then there's a regular Alonzo home run derby and a Neil Walker. So best pull would be the um, Bo Bichette rookie debut yellow for the Toronto. So here's, let me show you the, the Giancarlo stand again that we haven't been able to figure it out. It is definitely not a rainbow foil. It's definitely not a gold. And uh, the code on it, the code on it's the same. So I have no idea why I, there must be something to it though, because they don't. I mean, unless they're unless tops is crazy, they don't usually flip stuff over. All right, maybe this is one where the Rosa Rain and the Grisham will come in. I mean, usually they. Anyway, it's very strange. To me. I hate it when baseball cards make me feel like a fool, like a fool. I can make myself feel like a fool. I'll tell you, these Heritage Blasters better make up the uh, pick up the slack because things have not been. Um, Things have not been amazing yet, I have to say. They have not been great. And even though I have no control over anything, like obviously I, you know, I want everyone to do well here. I didn't get into this. I didn't get into this for it to stink, to lay an old egg. It's not why I'm doing this. Anyway. So cut it in about half and save this for the end. So we got a Diego Castillo, Tomlin, Taylor Ward, Cody Stashek. That's the second Cody Stashek rookie we pulled. Plays for Minnesota. There's a team that doesn't get a lot of attention. The Minnesota Twins. Chris Bryant. There's a Jake Newberry. Classic Cards, thank you so much for joining us. Classic Cards has a channel. Go over and subscribe. He does a whole bunch of really cool stuff. Also, he didn't ask me, but uh, he's a big David Fletcher collector. So if you happen to have any cool David Fletcher rookie cards or autographs or parallels, it may help him complete his collection. Uh, see, I just bought one of those 2020 up to your hands. It was one of the only products I found. Wow, they look crazy. It's my last... Oh, least favorite products is 91 Fleer. Yeah, the old yellow, the old yellow border sets. Um, Lilith Rips, I think I think that's because I'm not going to reveal where you're, you're from, but you're in a corner of California where I, it does not ex, it does not surprise me why it's so difficult for you um, to find cards. It does not surprise me in the least. Um, it is it is rough. It is rough. So there's a uh, Nick Turley. 
for the Pittsburgh Pirates. Arrgh! Arrgh! Too glad I just did that. There you go. And there's a Nick Turley. So there's a Gabe Spire. So for the Kansas City Barbecue Sauce Royals. Like I said, after this, we do have four, count them, four blaster boxes of uh, heritage of this year. So we're hoping to pull something cool. We pulled an autograph last time of David Peterson. Um, Devin Williams for the Milwaukee Brewers. So we're getting a whole bunch of pitcher, pitcher uh, rookie cards. The old Randy Rosarena yellow, uh, I imagine, is coming up, right? I mean, the universe will help us out. Maybe throw a Grisham yellow at us, too. Just throw it at us. Surprised we haven't hit more of the uh, rookie debuts yet. I mean, there's a Jordan. There's a Gavin Lux. There's a Nico Horner. There's a I think Kyle Lewis. There's a bunch of them in this set. Did I just get, did I just get two uh, not amazing hanger boxes? I don't know. We'll see. Yoshi Chuchugo for the Tampa Bay Rays. Let's see. Oh, classic card since you're here. We put we had a we had a 2015 Stadium Club and I pulled this Chris Bryant. That was that was a cool pull. That's probably the best pull so far. It's funny though, 91 Flair is my least favorite product, but also one of my favorites because they had some of my favorite subsets. So it's hopefully one of those four. Yeah, I hope that we get a, a hot box. That'd be that'd be sweet. Oh, we got a backwards card again. Is it gonna be something though? It is for the Angels of Anaheim. So it's gonna go to Oki. Okay, yeah. Okay, um, has a gold of Taylor Ward. Gold Taylor Ward for Oki K. Wouldn't be cool. If, that would have been cool if it was a trout. There's a uh, Clemens, a uh, Andre Dawson. If you haven't looked up Andre Dawson in retirement, you should look it up. He, uh, he runs a funeral home, I believe. So, Bichette, let me get back to it. Bichette Turkey Red for the Toronto Blue Jays. Anyway, uh, Shogo Akiyama, Turkey Red rookie card for the Cincinnati Reds. I have no noise to go with the Reds. There's a Wander. All those who wander are not lost. I wonder, is he going to get some playing time uh, this year? If he does, maybe he'll be an update series. So let me get to the yellows. Okay, a Rosarena, Grisham, Alvarez, Bichette. Let's see. Got a Logan. Are they gonna be, they're going to be upside down. So Zach Greinke. Oh, they're going to be upside down too. No one or not. They're all going to be upside down. And none of them are going to be the big rookies. None of them. We got skunked. We didn't get a single Rosa Reina. Anyway, but we did get the Wander Prospect card. We got a Bo Bichette. And we got a Shogo Akiyama. I don't know why I'm pronouncing it that way. I made it like eight syllables or something. So, in case you're just joining in, we have count them. One, two, three, four of these left. I'm going to take off my hoodie. Um, four of these left, so each box is going to contain, according to the box, 72 total cards. There will be, how many there? Where is the pack lineup? Uh, seven packs plus one extra pack. So last time I checked, that would be eight packs, uh, although Tops likes to do that fun little thing where they call them extra packs. Um, nine cards per pack, 72 total cards. Do we want to read the odds for autographs? Uh... You know what? Honestly, if it doesn't like pop out directly at me, then then let's be honest. If it doesn't just like scream out at me, um, yeah, RJ pointed out that uh, they own a funeral home. It is what a weird transition from Hall of Fame baseball player to funeral home directing. Don't talk to robots. That Wander Franco card is an eight dollar card. Wow, that's cool. That is good to know. So here are our packs. Let's do it. Like I said, um, I mentioned it before, but the format is if you get a wacky card, um, team on the top will get it. If it's up down, team on the far left will get it. If it's left right, or team in the far left, top left corner will get it if it's one of those like four cards. So just so you know, because I'm sure we're going to run into at least one or two of them in the... Um, also, one pack away from greatness. Once again, I'll say one pack away from greatness. And I just opened the pack. So let's hope that there's fire in there. Um, classic cards. Classic. Jesus Lizardo has uh, a boy. Uh, let's see what we got. 
Get a Jesus Sanchez for the Miami Marlins. He's in action. Oh, let me show you the back. Uh, by the way, oh, that's a puzzle piece thing. So you guys are going to have to let me know, but I, obviously I ship all the cards. There's that cool. Is that, is that the regular trout or is that the, uh, is that the special trout? You guys let me know. Um, we may have a hot box because we got a purple in here. So uh, I'm not great with error cards or French text or all the wacky heritage variations. But as you know, I ship all each and every card that I pull. So if I don't catch it, you guys will be able to look at it. Um, anyway, I'm not sure. Is this the special trout or is this just the regular trout? You guys let me know, though. Anyway, that's that's uh, that's the regular one. Okay. We do have a purple, though, and it is going to be a Max Scherzer. I uh, will sleeve it up. I've seen, though, if you do get, like, a purple in, like, the first pack, you tend to get, like, a purple hot box, I believe. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But the old Scherzer, Mitch Moreland, and a Mika, Ma, 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 sorry, Mikel Franco. My apologies to Mikel. All right. So um, 72 total cards. For a box, 1970 design. I like what they did there. Classic cards. Hopefully you'll get. Hopefully you can get some of these. You always mentioned you have like some some kind of connection. Um, so this is what I was talking about. So both of these are um, on the Dodgers, but if they were on different teams, far left would get it. But it is a Dodger card. It is a Kybert Ruiz and a Mitch White, and the Dodgers are Ronald J. So there is. It's not our first rookie because we got that that uh, Sanchez card, but there is a Miguel Rojas. Yadier Molina. Oh, we got a candy lid. Candy lid this time is going to be Roberto Clemente. Always awkward candy lids because I don't have any sleeves for those. I just to put them in a regular sleeve. Apologize. I think John has the uh, Pirates, but yeah, you're just going to get it in a regular sleeve because that's what I have. And the purple this time is going to be Rookies. It is. It's one of those three ones. So the team on the left is the Yankees. So it's going to be going to the Yankees. Um, Debbie Garcia, Ian Anderson, and Christian Javier. So that's a cool one. But like I said, that will be going to the Yankees because the Yankees are on the left. And look, yes, John S. has the Yankees. Eloy Jimenez, who unfortunately is out for the season. Um, all right, let's see if we can get like an Alec Baum or like some crazy purple. I mean, if we're already in, yep, if we're already into the purples, let's see if we can get like a crazy purple. Let me get the old candy lid out of the way. It is. Ooh, hello. Cabrian Hayes candy lid for the Pittsburgh Pirates. Arr, aren't you glad you got a hot box? There we go. There's a Cabrian Hayes. We have a Whit Merrifield, Jose Barrios, Dylan Bundy for the LA Angels of Anaheim. Chris Sale and the purple this time is going to be Zach Greinke for the Houston Astros. Do we have liftoff? Do we? Or do we have a problem? There we go. Depends on who you ask, I think. Depends on who your fans of. All right. So we have, what, five more packs of this? So there should be five more purples if, it's, if it holds true to form. Get, come on, like some super cool rookie. I wonder, is it possible to get a, a purple autograph? Has anyone seen those? I personally have not seen him. Bus driver has shown up at just the right time. You just got to, did you see that you got the uh, Brian Hayes? So the purple this time is going to be Shane Bieber for the Cleveland Indians. God, we're still, we're still hoping for that purple rookie card. That's just going to like bring the entire house down. Chance Cisco. We took a chance, took a chance. All right, so this is another one of those threes. So this one's going to go to the Mets because all the uh, Degrom is on the left. That was just like a league leaders, I think, though. McCutcheon, Michael A. Taylor, who's now with the Royals, but now we're going to Eloy Jimenez. I have to say, this is my first purple hot box that I have ever opened. So I'm really, I really hope we can get like an autograph or a super cool rookie card. But still, it's cool to get a whole bunch of purples. I mean, Tommy Listella, who I don't know why the Angels traded him to their rival. I'm not sure why they did that. That does not seem to be a good call. I am not in the front office. They do not 
pay me, but um, any Braves yet? Adam's car closet. There has been some Braves. There hasn't been any monsters yet, though, as far as, as, far as I can think of. But we're in the middle of a purple hot box of heritage. So Red Sox of Alex Verdugo. We haven't pulled any monsters. The best card I think we've gotten so far is either the Wander Franco prospect card or the Chris Bryant rookie card at a stadium club. But you never know. We have three and a half blaster boxes of heritage. So you showed up at just the right time. Quintana and the regular Verdugo. So two more to go here. Who knows? Maybe with Adam's card closet, maybe we'll get a Pache purple or maybe we'll get that bound purple or Paddock, Schwarber. We have Kershaw and Cesar Hernandez. This is going to be a Texas rookie stars. Anderson Tejada and Leody Tavares. Come on, get in there. Then the purple this time is going to be Shohei Otani for the LA Angels of Anaheim. So that one's going to Oki. Um, so there you go. Purple of Shohei Otani, who is having himself uh, a good start to the year, which I like because I have a whole bunch of Shohei Otani rookies, and I would love to be able to sell them. Um, For some cash. Cabrian Hayes, rookie card for the Pittsburgh Arr, Pirates. It's in action. There we go. So that's two Cabrian Hayes's, and uh, he's not in Series 1. Um, <laughs> the other day, I was opening Heritage, and uh, I said, why does it say Rockies? I'm going to say Rookies because it's a uh, – but anyway, it was Rockies because I couldn't read correctly. There's a Dubon. There's a Pete Alonzo. We got a New Age Performer. Of new of uh, Nate Pearson, that is the first New Age Performer card I pulled, and Justin Verlander. So we got two purple Astros uh, in this box. No, uh, no autograph, but of course, retail autographs and relics are hard to find. They are super hard to find. So there's that. The first box. We have three more to go. So let's get to it. Like I said, one pack away from greatness, although I should revise it to one box away from greatness for the moment. But like I said, I don't know. It seems like whenever we get to the most current product, um, things heat up a little bit more. It just seems to be the way it goes sometimes. But, you know, part of it is how I format it. That, like, you open the older packs at the beginning, and, you you know, it's kind of like a – rooting for you know you're, you're kind of like going out on a limb with the older packs so with the more current stuff you just have better chances so no way did we get two purple hot boxes in a row are you serious oh my goodness no way what are the odds there's a KC Mize for the uh, Detroit Tigers Roar! I surmise that this might be a hot box. Huh? It might be. Who knows? Clemente. We have a Jordan Alvarez. And Javi Baez for the Chicago Cubs. Oh, no, Doug. You didn't pick the Cubs. Actually, no one picked the Cubs. But uh, still looking for that first, like, purple, uh, that first purple rookie card that will kind of, like, send us into the old stratosphere, huh? What are the odds? I've never gotten, never gotten, oh, yep. I've never gotten a purple hot box until today. Now we've gotten two in a row in the middle of a break. Now we just got to get lucky and pull some like crazy stuff. There's a Rizzo, a Donovan Solano, a Toro, Arnado, and then who's it going to be this time? Jordan Alvarez. Not a rookie, but uh, he's having a good year. Jordan Alvarez. Also, no one got the Astros in this break. And a Matt Kemp. Is Matt Kemp still playing? I didn't realize. I thought Matt Kemp had retired. I thought he retired. We need MVP or a Clooney Purple. Lilis, you mentioned a while ago you are a Bo Jackson collector guy. 2017 update. Song you want. Okay. Oh, you guys are doing deals. Um, so we got a Brady Singer for the Kansas City Royals. Got some royalty. Will he be royalty? Um, pitching royalty. Let's see what we got. Well, see, you guys say your things like 
we we're getting purples, so you guys got to ask for what you want. You know, Alec Baum or uh, Christian Pache or something. You guys let me know, and maybe the universe, maybe the universe will feel generous. Senzatella got an Andujar, and it's gonna be Max Muncy with the, the Dodgers. The Dodgers. So that one's going to uh, Ronald J. Come on, man. There we go. For some reason, I'm having trouble sleeping up. Um, Hayes would look good in the purple. I'm sure he would, too. I'm sure he would. Let's see. Okay, can you imagine if he managed to like pull a, a purple autograph? I still, I keep saying that. I don't know if we actually can pull a purple autograph. But Luis Garcia for the Washington Nationals. He played for like a game or so when half the team was on the injured list. Evan White for the Seattle Mariners. Now, Doug is a Mariner fan, and so is his brother, Flightless Dutchman. No, not Flightless. Uh, Flying Dutchman. Still waiting on the Flightless Dutchman part. All right, let's get to it. Enough shenanigans. It's going to be Glaber Torres for the New York Yankees. I also hope he has a good year because I have a bunch of Glaber Torres rookie cards that I would like to unload. <sighs> no, there's no such thing as a purple auto. Okay, thank you, Adam. So I can stop rooting for something that's not even possible. Also, I can stop sounding dumb. Uh, Hanser Alberto, Miguel Rojas. Got the regular Muncie, the Beau Bichette in action. Elaine Thomas. And here is going to be our purple this time will be Yadier Molina. Man, it's hard getting. It is hard getting enough. It's hard enough getting a purple card. But, man, it is super hard to get a purple rookie, apparently. Although, let's be honest, we're not pulling a lot of rookies. We haven't pulled a lot of rookies yet in general. We're just not. It's weird. Josh Bell. So, James McCann. We got a Christian Pache. Rookie card. He's in action. So there we go. We got a Christian. I'm not sure what that, I'm not sure what that, what that fetches. At the moment, but there's a Christian Pache. So Adam's card closet. There you got a Pache Heritage rookie in case you don't already have it. And Sunny Gray. Sunny Gray. For the Cincinnati Reds. Joe Kelly. I think he moved on. I don't remember him seeing him. Maybe is he still with the Dodgers? And Javi Baez. So two more in this box. And we got two more boxes to go. All right. Barrios, Pete Alonzo as a kid. Man, look at that cage on his uh, helmet there. Got the Scherzer. Yeah, you see it. You didn't, didn't you see it? There's your Christian Pache. Um, in action. Not really sure what it's worth, but uh, anyway, moving on. We have. Ooh, hello. It is a purple rookie, and this time it's going to be for the Toronto Blue Jays. Um, Nate Pearson and Tom Hatch. There we go. That's cool. Giolito and a John Birdie. Oh, you're working as usual. Of course you're working. You work like 90 hours a week or something, man. Barely have any time to spend at the card mansion when you're working that much. So we do have uh, uh, another rookie. This time it's going to be the New York Yankees, Esteban Florial and Clark Schmidt. Then we have pitching leaders. You Darvish, Zach Davies, and uh, Max Fried. And uh, team on the left is the Cubs, so it's going to go to the Cubs. And we do have the rookie stars of the Marlins. But before I get the sleeve, let's see who this purple is. For the Phillies, it's Reese Hoskins. It's going to RJ Reese Hoskins with the Phillies. Of course, what other team would we be with? That's the team he plays for. But there's your, uh, your Marlins stars. So we did get one rookie in purple, and it was for the old Blue Jays. Come on. I'm rooting for you guys. I'm hoping I'm hoping I can pull some more cool stuff, you know? I mean, it's just kind of like the whole point of this. So we got two more of these to go. So 100, uh, 144 more cards. 144 more cards. Look at that. Doing live math. Who doesn't love doing live math? Michael Heath, thank you for joining us. Uh, bus driver, thank you for joining us as well, of course. Uh, I'm not trying to neglect anyone in the chat whatsoever. I get a little distracted by the actual. 
opening of the old cards. Close that box up. All right. So let's do it. Let's do it heritage style. Heritage style. So, uh, strikeout leaders, the ground on the left, so it's going to the old Mets. The Labor Torres. We have strikeout leaders. This one's going to the Indians because Bieber's on the left. We got a Cronenworth rookie card. It's amazing. Cronenworth has a whole bunch of cards, but he doesn't have a flagship rookie card. I hope they put him in series two because he's a good player. There's a San Diego Padres. San Diego Padres. There's a Cronenworth. Joey Wendell, Whit Merrifield. So rookie stars. Oh, there's a Cabrian Hayes. And the uh, Pirates are on the left, so it'll go to the Pirates. And there's also a Jose Garcia for the Reds. And then a Sean Manea to finish that one out. So this one's not going to be a hot box because we didn't get any purples in there. But maybe we'll get an auto in this one. Who knows? Or a Relic or something. Or a Ryan McMahon, a Schwarber. Got a Paddock. And Rookie Stars for the Tigers. Stix G isn't here, but he's a big old Tiger fan. Let's see, someone has the Tigers. So Oki has the Tigers. So there you go. There's that rookie for you. Devin Williams, Roberto Clemente, the great one, Dominic Smith, and a Austin Slater. Another Cabrian Hayes. This is like the fourth. This is like the fourth Cabrian Hayes, I think. Of this. In action. There's an A. Pearson. Also in action. For the Blue Jays. So these have kind of been heavy. There's been Pirates heavy, Astros heavy, and it looks like Blue Jays heavy. There's a Bellinger. Brett Anderson. All right. And... Um, there's a Baum. RJ, is this your first Baum of, uh, of Heritage? Let's see, but there is a... Bring out the boom, because there is a Baum. I changed my saying, so it's going to be bring out the boom, there is a Baum for the Philadelphia Phillies. Like Snell, Eric Thames, and Verlander. The solo rookie cards are all in action. Okay. Well, that makes sense. That would definitely make sense then. So, anyway, there is our lid. And it's going to be a Mookie Betts candy lid. I don't know. Do people collect these candy lids? Guys, let me know. Maybe they do. All right. We have this time RBI leaders and Ozuna, a Freeman. So that one's going to the Braves, but those are just RBI leaders. Is Keston here going to start playing better? That would be interesting if he would. I have a couple of his autographs, so it would be nice if he, if he would. Um, so we do have a, a lot of in-action cards. Contreras, Grandal, Flashback 1972, The Moon, Lester, and a Jackie Bradley. So, uh, boom slang. Thank you so much for joining us. We're going through some heritage now. We're trying to beat the odds and pull an autograph. At least get some rookies. There's a Soto, Thyro Estrada, Luis Robert in action, Malik Trinan, Jose Altuve, Enrique Hernandez, Jacob Junis, and there's a regular Acuna. A regular Acuna. Adam's card closet. You have you have five Keston Hero autographs? Hey, how did you get five? Did you pull them or did they just pull for you in breaks or something? So here's a rookie stars, Mount Castle, and Dalbeck with uh, the Orioles on the left. So it will be going to the Orioles. So there's a Mount Castle. Give that guy a crown. There's the Cy Young Award insert. There is another rookie. This time it's going to be Cody Whitley and Ramirez. It's going to go to the Cardinals. Uh, Rookie of the Year Award. Oh, we got a red. Hello. We got a red or something. And it's going to be a Marlins 
uh, rookie star red of Sixto Sanchez and Jesus Sanchez, and it is numbered out of 372. So it looks like, uh, yeah, the Marlins, no one took the Marlins this time. No one took the old Marlins, those fish. So that's the end of the third blaster. You pulled two, bought the others for real cheap. Um, so, okay, let me go through it again because RJ asked. So let me try to find it. You, okay, when it's, uh, when it's this kind of format, the far left is going to get it. Um, let me try to find one of those award cards you were bringing up because, oh, the award cards. Um, I have not, I did not account for that. I did not account for that. Um, <sighs> Any suggestions? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven people in the break. Um, if anyone has any suggestions, I did not. I did. Uh, I did not account for that. Um, let me let me think about it while I open the last blaster box, and we'll we can figure out something. Um, we can figure out something. I honestly forgot that heritage. That heritage uh, even has those. Freaking sorry. Oh hello. Oh, I'm so glad that the stream didn't go down. That could have gotten bad. I would have had to start over. Well, not start over, but I would have had to restart the stream. All right, one more box left. Um, looks like it's not going to be a hot box because we got uh, no purple there, but we got another Soto. So, for example, rookie stars. There's another one where it's going to the Orioles because the Mount Castle is on the left. You know what? We have seven people in the for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people. So if I get, I'll tell you what. One of the easiest ways to do is if I get seven, um, if I get seven of them by the time we're done, it would be a lot easier because um, then I could just give one to each person. Um, but also random, I got to figure out how to do random. Um, there is the rookie stars, Marlins. You know what? I have my tablet here. I can kind of like assign. You know what? I can. This is what I can do. I can like lay them out on the table, like one, two, three, four, four, however many, and then get my tablet out, and then I can do the, the randomizer. That's what I could do. Boom, that. That's what I could do. And then it'll be fair for everyone. You're, you're gonna have to bear with me as I type though. There's a Cy Young one. There's the regular trout again. The great one, Jaime Rivera and Rookie stars of the Colorado Rockies. I have to say, I'm not a huge fan of uh, not a huge fan of these that layout. But yeah, I think we figured it out. So I'm going to lay out all the cards on the table, and then I will type it into the randomizer. And then the number ones, I'll do the random thing, and the number one slot will be assigned one, and then that way everyone gets a fair shot. I don't even know. Are they? I mean, you guys want them, of course, but like, are they even worth anything? I don't even know if they are, but. If you guys want them, obviously, I'm, I'm not going to keep them around. This is your break for you guys. All right. So we got another one of these uh, rookie stars. It'd be nice to beat the odds and at least get an autograph. I say at least. That'd be a big deal. That'd be a big deal to get an autograph. There's a uh, Blue Jays rookie stars card. And uh, I think I'm going to have a surprise for you guys at the end. So don't go because um, this feels like it's been a, a light break so far. So I might, I might, there's a Casey Mines. I might add on to it for you guys for no extra charge, just because I want you guys to get your money's worth. Um, so, um, Stalin's, there's a Sixto Sanchez in action. Kyle Lewis, Judge, no candy lid of Aaron Judge. Is Aaron Judge ever going to have like a full season where he doesn't go on the injured list once ever? Because the dude, I mean, he plays for the Yankees, and of course the Yankees are reviled outside of uh, New York people. But um, the, when he is actually healthy, you can he can really play, but he's just never healthy. It seems like every year he's on the old he's on the old kid he's on the old, not the old kid he's on the old skid. There's a Shohei in action, Garrett Cole, Buxton, Taylor. There's a then and now. Um, 
Nolan Ryan and Bieber. The uh, Angels are on the left, so that will go to the Angels. So regular Kyle Tucker. So two more packs. I will do a random and then stick around because I'm gonna add. I'm gonna add something. Um, I'm feeling. I'm feeling generous. Blackman, Santander, Evan White for the Seattle Mariners. All right, last pack of this, and then the random, and then the additional stuff, which I will get to. But let's see. It'd be nice to get an autograph to finish things out. Wouldn't that be cool? So we got a Bryce Harper. He's in action. There's a Rays World Series bound. Bo Bichette. We have a Rookie Stars for the Texas Rangers. And... All right, so this is what I'm going to do. We have one, two, three, four, five. Let me write it down. Oh, these are not on screen. I should probably actually put them on screen, huh? Wouldn't that be great? So give me, bear with me for one second while I write all this magic down. Uh, rookie of the Year, Cy Young, 1972, MVP, and Cy Young, um, orange. Okay, let me pull up the old. Uh, I know it's gonna be super fascinating. Talk amongst yourselves while I type people's names into a, a tablet. All right. So, random. So we have in this break, uh, Ronald J. So I'll just put in Ron to make it easier, make it quicker. Ron, uh, Mike is in this break. Uh, John is in this break. Adam is in this break. Oki is here. We have Nathan. And then we have uh, Lance. All right, that was actually quicker than I thought it would be. Okay, so we have seven part two. Okay, make sure one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Don't want anything wrong. So here's all seven of you guys. So I'm gonna hit the random button five times, and then number one slot will be this one, number two slot will be this one, number three slot will be this one, number four slot will be this one, number five slot will be this one. So two of you will not get a card, and five of you will get one card each. So let's do it. Uh, once, twice, three times, four times, and fifth time. So let me write it down. Um, sorry, I apologize. So Adam, you get the Rookie of the Year card. Nathan R, you get the Cy Young card. This well, the this Cy Young card. Flashback card goes to Ronald. The MVP card goes to Lance, and this other Scion card on the end goes to John. Okay, so those cards have been figured out in randomized fashion. Do not go anywhere. I'm going to add some product to this break right now because I feel like some teams didn't get a whole lot, and I, I just don't. I don't feel good having charged you guys, even um, even though it's you know not up to me. I mean, you know, even though, like, obviously, I don't know what's in the packs. So let me let me sleeve up these cards, um, and then I will I will go get some extra product, and uh, we will open that, and hopefully, I'll feel a lot better after that is over. So give me mm, mm, mm. give me like two minutes, I'd say. So talk amongst yourself. Let me sleeve this up though, and then um, I will return with a little more product, and we will open it, and I will add it to the break for free. For free. Well, not for free. You guys already paid in, but like for no additional charge. All right. So those are those extra cards. So get, like I said, give me like two minutes. I'll go into the other room, get the product, and I will open it up. And that'll be bonus, bonus territory for the old break.
All right, I'm back. That looked. That took less than two minutes. All right. So, like I said, um, I feel like some of you guys didn't get your values work out of those things, and so I'm going to add these three things to the break um, for no additional charge. So we have right here uh, two hanger boxes of opening day this year and one tin, and uh, your teams will still, of course, stay the same because I'm just adding. I'm just adding to it. So there's uh, 35 cards per box in the opening day each, and then the tins have 75. So let's get to it, and let's hope that uh, this bonus, well, look, let's be honest, it's bonus time. Uh, let's hope that this bonus provides us with something cool. Nothing like a cool bonus. All right. The old opening day. I didn't think that, I heard that they weren't making a retail opening day, and I was totally wrong, because here we are. Um, they did make opening day retail. All right, let's do it. Like I said, one pack away from greatness, and I just opened that box anyway. So let's pull some cool opening day fire. All right, we have a Future Stars or Brendan McKay. We have a blue foil. I'm not sure if they're guaranteed in uh, retail. There's Clayton, and the blue foil is going to be a DJ LeMayhew for the... New York Yankees. So there's a blue foil there. I think we only got like three or four blue foil in uh, in the entire hobby box that I opened of opening day. So they are not they are not like super easy to get. There's a Chicago White Sox, the Gary Sanchez, Verlander, and a Starling Marte. So there's your first pack down. And we're looking for, of course, all the same rookies. There's a John Means. There is an Evan White rookie card for the Seattle Mariners. All right. There is a Verdugo. The uh, Rosie the Red. Oh, there's a Baum. There we go. Huh? First hanger box bonus out of the gate. And we got a Baum and a DJ LeMayu blue foil. But there's a Baum for you. Um, see if we can knock down the old, the other rookies, huh? Wouldn't that be cool? God, wouldn't it be crazy if I just like threw in a hanger box and we ended up pulling like an autograph or something? So there is a future star of Randy uh, Rose Arena, and then a legend of baseball Herman Killebrew. Patino. Oh, hello. So there are. There we go. Man, I'm feeling better already adding this as a bonus because people are getting some stuff now. Spatino for the San Diego Padres. There is a Nick Madrigal for the Chicago White Sox. Obviously, I can't guarantee what's in any of these, but uh, it does make me feel better throwing them in for you guys. Um, there's a Dylan Carlson for the St. Louis Cardinals. Man. God, imagine if I had kept this hanger box to myself. Um, Dylan Carlson, pulling all the old rookies there. Got something. It's an insert, and it is a uh, Javi Baez. Outstanding opening day, 2019. Mondesi, future star of Nick Solak. All right, last pack of this hanger box, and we have another one, and then it, 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 sorry, the tin. Goodness, I get ahead of myself sometimes. There's a Keston Hero, Mookie Betts. There's a Christian Pache. There you go, Adam. I don't know if you're still here, Adam. But there's a Pache opening day. I don't know if you have a Pache opening day yet. But there is a Pache opening day. There is the Rays mascot, Raymond. There's a Debbie Garcia. Bring the boom, because there's a bound. We haven't pulled the bound. RJ, you still here? Adam, you still here? I'm not sure who's still here. Uh, there we go. We have uh, Nick Neidert for the Miami Marlins rookie card. So that was a that was a that was a good uh, that's a good hanger box. I gotta say, that was a lot better than I thought it would be for 35 cards. Let's see if hanger box number two will also be good. Let's see if I have the ability to open it without any any problem. <laughs> Let's see. I do like how they open from the side. That is cool. 
like being a manufacturing dork. Be a dork of manufacturing. One pack away from greatness. Wouldn't it be cool if you pulled one of those like random uh, mascot autographs? There's an Azuna. There is an Andres Jimenez for the New York Mets. So that one is going to Kansas Mike. As he is the Mets owner this time. Although, unfortunately, Jimenez does not play for the Mets anymore. But they got a Francisco Lindor in return. So I'm sure that the Mets fans are... I don't know. What do you guys feel like? The Mets fans that are out there. Do you, uh, you happy with your Lindor? Especially now that I hope you are because you got him on the hook for, what, 10 more years? 10 years and a whole bunch of money? It's uh, Steve's money, not your money. But, ooh, we got a foil in here. So we have a James Karinchek. A Justin Turner, Chris Sale, and this is going to rookie. And it is a Santiago Espinal for the Toronto Blue Jays rookie card foil. Man, I tell you, it was worth pulling out these things as a bonus here. You know, Mancata and then a Chris Bubik for the uh, Kansas City Royals. A couple more packs of this, and then we'll do the 10, and then I will wrap it up. And hopefully you guys have gotten some bonus value out of it. Gazi Swanson. We have a David Peterson. For the Mets. Ray Johnson. Rio Muto. Trevor Bauer. Two more opening day to go. I hit my mic and hit the webcam, so that's what you see shaking. Ah, it says here Chris Bryant is third base outfield. Uh, has Chris Bryant ever played the outfield? Did I miss that when he started playing outfield? I thought he was exclusively a third baseman. So there's a Humberto Mejia for the Arizona Diamondbacks. Okay, a whole bunch of upside-down cards, and then we have another Nick Knight. I think he's like a fourth. Um... Sticks, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, have a good dinner. Have a good dinner, buddy. It's great, great seeing you. Oh, sorry. Um, sometimes at the end of games. Doug, who knew? Who knew he played uh, the outfield? Who knew that, man? Future stars are Justin Dunn, Shane Bieber, Walker Bueller, Boston Red Sox opening day, and a Debbie Garcia. So, uh, all right. So that was those. Those were two cool hanger boxes of opening day. We're gonna do the ten, and then I will wrap it up. But like I said, hope you guys are enjoying bonus coverage on the live stream, but also bonus cards for people who bought in. Oh, Adam, I added. Um, I have added uh, two opening day hanger boxes and a tin. To the uh, to the bonus because I felt bad that some people didn't get that much stuff. But we pulled a uh, where's Pache pulled the Pache opening day, and we pulled an Alec Baum opening day. So then we pulled a blue foil of uh, I forgot who it was of opening day. But here is your tin. Like I said, I hope after this, you guys. Uh, I know it's only like two opening day hangers and a tin, but I hope that everyone gets. Some cool bonus stuff. Because like I said, I mean, I don't know how many people who do breaks do this. But like, this is my hobby. This is not my job. I like, you know, I want people to feel like they got um, stuff. We've got a rainbow foil in here. And we got a gold. All right. So let me, let me put this and save this stuff for last. For last. And let's see how many rookies we get. There's a Joe Adele. Oh, my goodness. Talk about a bonus. There's a Joe Adele rookie. Oki has, oh, hello. So they got the uh, Joe Adele rookie right there. We have a Tyler Stevenson rookie right there. We had uh, an Eddie Alvarez rookie. Follow it up. Man, the sleeves are coming. We have an Albert Abreu rookie. Hello. Tariq Skubal. <laughs> There's five rookies just right there. And, okay, the rookies are going to stop for the moment. But we do have a gold and a rainbow foil that I saw. So, Blackman, Bowers. I think Adele is in the minors at the moment. Isn't he still in the minors? I think they, 
they're going to give him uh, some time to get some more at bats. I think is what's going to happen. I don't know. I, um, I think Classic Cards is gone, but Classic Cards would know because he is the resident uh, Angels fan. But as far as I know, he wasn't with the big club, or if he is, he's not getting at bats. Um, a lot of the rookie cards that we see, like a lot of those players aren't up there. I know Baum is up there playing. Um, man, look at that. We got a case, uh, Bo Burrows. So we got seven rookies so far. Gonsolin, there's a Patino. So we got eight rookies. Holy smokes. Talk about a talk about a random random luck on a bonus of a 10 here. Dubon. Okay, let's go to the back end, and then we'll do the middle part, and then I'll wrap it up because I've been on for an hour and a half, and I got a bunch of sorting to do. A bunch of sorting. Phillies are looking for a center fielder. Who is your who is your starting center fielder? I think it's Bryce Harper in right field, I think. Um Check the one ads. Humberto, man, a lot of rookies. A lot of rookies. Nick Nider. Man, 12 rookies out of this 110. And we're not even done yet. Luis Robert, Gold Cup. All right, and then we got the middle part. So what is going to be in the middle part? Luis Castillo gold card for the Cincinnati Reds. Following up by Jack Flaherty rainbow foil for the St. Louis Cardinals. Man, it would have been better if, the, if those are both rookie cards, but they are not. Got a Frank Thomas. Ooh, there's a stars in service of Derek. Sorry. All right. Well, I kind of spoiled some stuff, but there's a Kyle Lewis there and a Steven Bott vote. There's a Frank Thomas and a Jeter. Miguel Cabrera for one of those Chrome cards. They're super cool looking. Um, man, good luck getting that set though. There's 70 cards. You only get one per 10. I think they only come in the tens. Yikes. So there's an Evan White. And Bregman, Chapman, Scherzer, Bichette, and then Eloy Jimenez, Chrome. So that'll do it. That is your bonus. Um, I think not a, not every team, but a lot of the teams got um, cool little bonus cards from that little thing. Um, let's go through a recap. Oh, hello. That slid off the old slid off the side. But this is what we have. Here's your it's gonna be a quick recap. Recap. Evan White. Miguel Cabrera, Castillo Gold, Patino Rookie, Bubik Rookie, Scooble, Stevenson, Joe Adele, Abreu, Eloy Jimenez, Chrome, Bo Burrows, Flaherty, Rainbow Foil, Humberto Mejia, Nick Neidert, uh, Alvarez, Debbie Garcia opening day, Nick Neidert opening day, Mejia opening day, Peterson opening day, Bubik, we have Santiago Espinal Rookie Card. Uh, blue foil, which is which is rarer than I thought. Jimenez opening day, another night dirt. Uh, Debbie Garcia, Christian Pache opening day. Dylan Carlson and Nick Madrigal opening day. Patino and Rosa Reina opening day. Alec Baum opening day. Evan White. We got this Lemayhu blue foil. Then we have Heritage, Tejada, uh, Evan White. We got this Candy Lit of Judge. Sixto Sanchez in action. Casey Mize, uh, Blue Jays rookies. Rockies rookies, uh, Marlins red rookies, Cardinals rookies, American League rookies with Mount Castle and Dalbeck, Alec Baum in action, Nate Pearson, Cabrian Hayes. We have Tigers rookies, sorry, Cronenworth in action, Pache in action rookie, the regular trout, which I thought was a special one, Wander Franco, Akiyama, Bichette. Taylor Ward Gold, Stan, which I can't figure out what's special about. The Yellow, Bichette, Stashek, Rick Ankiel, um, Furcal, Jason Worth, and we got our stack of purples and stuff. And uh, I know I'm going quickly, but that's because I got a sort. So Marlins rookies, another Mount Castle there, Candy Lid of Mookie Bet, uh, Cabrian Hayes, rookie stars, Purple of Hoskins, another Marlins rookie, the Yankees rookie, 
the Blue Jays purple rookie, Sonny Gray, Yadier Molina purple, uh, Glaber Torres purple, Evan White, Luis Garcia. We have a Max Muncy purple. Um, rookie Gold Cup of Lewis. We got a Brady Singer. Uh, Javi Baez purple. Jordan Alvarez purple. Casey Mize. Justin Verlander purple. New Age Performers and Nate Pearson. In four blaster boxes, we only got one New Age Performer. Uh, Kid Brian Hayes in action. We've got a purple of Shohei Otani. Rangers rookie Alex Verdugo purple. Uh, Bieber and Eloy Jimenez. And we got more. So we candy lit of Cabrian Brian Hayes. The Astros, uh, Granky. We have this uh, purple of Debbie Garcia. They have Clemente, Dodgers rookies, um, Scherzer purple, Jesus Sanchez, Tusugo, a whole bunch of other random rookies. I'm not going to stop for these ones because those are smaller names. We have um, Tyler Stevenson. Nate's breaks in a box. Thank you for joining us. Lilith Rips. I'm glad that uh, you enjoyed that little bonus action. I know I'm kind of blowing through things over here, but I've been on the air for like an hour and 31 minutes. Jordan Alvarez, tops of the class rookie. This uh, Nick Swisher Stadium Club, Dalton Pompey. And then we have three more to go, and then that'll be it. So we have uh, Matt Chapman, Prism Draft, Jody Mercer, and then this Chris Bryant 2015 Stadium Club rookie. Uh, before I go, uh, go check out Nate's Brace Kind of Boxing, Lily's Rips, Don't Talk to Robots, RJ, Adam's Card Closet. I hope you had a good time. Take care of yourself. And uh, that is the recap, Adam. I would um, I would rewind about six and a half minutes, and then you'll see all of the best cards. Um, but, uh, yeah, like I said, I added bonus. I'm going to do some sorting, and then I hope I can get to the post office tomorrow, but if I can't, then I will get to the post office on Monday for sure. Uh, either way, take care and have a great rest of your uh, Friday. Happy weekend.